Hey there, creativepreneurs. Thanks for stopping by. Today, I want to show you three of the best graphic design software tools that you can try out for free. My name is Mark Sylvester, and welcome to another Tutorial Tuesday for the graphics creator by Laughing Bird Software. Okay, let's get started. Here I am on my computer, and the first graphic design software tool that you can try out for free is our very own Web Graphics Creator software. Now, you can log into this website, webgraphicscreator.com, and we have a one-week free trial that you can use to try out the software with. Now, with the online version, there's nothing to install, there's nothing to download, and it's always updated on the back end. It's super easy to be up and running in no time. So, let me scroll down. Let me show you what's inside this. I'm going to scroll down past the tutorial videos, and you're going to see a bunch of icons. We have ads that you can create, blog graphics, you can create graphics for your social media, you can create ebook covers, logos and business cards, we have people and characters, and you can even make your own YouTube channel art like thumbnails and the YouTube banners. And you'll also notice that under each icon there are these little info buttons. When you click on them, Hey there, creativepreneurs. Today we're going <laughs> to... You'll see my little face tell you, telling you how to use that particular template set. Hey there, creativepreneurs. Welcome to another edition of... <laughs> you get the idea. Okay, so the first thing I want to show you, let's try e-covers and mock-ups first. So here's how, easy it, here's how easy it is to use this tool. So when you click on it, you're going to find a whole bunch of pre-designed e-covers. So for tutorial purposes, let's just pick this one really quick. I'm going to select it. Now on, on the website and in my YouTube channel, I have a whole bunch of videos on how to use the software. So I'm not going to get into that necessarily right now. I just want to show you some of these template sets. So everything's easy to modify. Um, so let's just uh, modify this real quick by double clicking this. And instead of easy, let's just say hard. <laughs> and then I'm going to come up here to the file, download image. And we'll name this automation. Okay, and it gets uh, gets saved into my downloads folder. Now I'm going to come over here to select designs again, and I'm not going to save this graphic. And this time, instead of picking the uh, pre-designed covers, I'm going to come up here, and I'm going to select the e-cover and mock up 3D models. Now you're going to find a whole bunch of uh, graphics, a whole bunch of 3D graphics that you can actually drag that image onto. Okay, so for example, let's pick this one. I can click it. Now, this background is completely modifiable. You can delete it if you want to. And I'm gonna select this placeholder. And then I'm gonna open up that download, my downloads folder and find my graphic. So here is the graphic I made. I'm gonna, let's get this out of the way so you can see it. I'm gonna drag the image, I'm gonna drag the image onto the box shot and bam, it replaces the placeholder with your graphic. Now, if this whole thing is too long or too wide, you can click on it, and I'm gonna and, uh, click on these handle buttons here, and I'm gonna click and make these a little bit lower here because, and then I'll click off it, and then I'm gonna take this box image and shrink it down a little bit, okay? And then I have to kind of reformat this placeholder a little bit, so I'm gonna turn on the drag handles again and fit everything around it super easy to modify everything so you can customize the size of the box as well as put your own image on it there you go and the background is is totally transparent too you can download it and if you click on this little transparent button and name this automation box shot there is your e-cover now this green is not going to show up let me show you i can click on uh, here's the uh the 3d box image that i created and you can use this on your website. Okay, back to the categories. Let's uh, let's uh, pop into the ad creator and see what we got in there. Okay, when the ads pop up, you'll see a whole bunch of pre-designed ad templates. And some of these are regular ads like this, where you can modify the graphics and the background image and the text. And some of them are animated versions of that same ad. And if you put this on your Facebook page, it'll get noticed in a heartbeat. <laughs> the ad creator has 75 ads that are all modifiable and customizable. You can even put animated uh, pins onto Pinterest. 
you can make your own logos. There's 125 logo templates in this set. And if you come up here, we also have business card. And when the business card set loads up, you'll see a whole bunch of pre-designed business cards that you can, of course, modify and add your own photos into it, change the text. Um, and what's cool about the business card set is that when you click on one, it'll load up and you can modify everything by things like putting an outline over the text if you want to, or changing the text color to uh, yellow to make it stand out right whatever you want to do then you'll also notice when you come over here to format canvas there's a button that says business card design if you click on it you're going to notice this uh, gray area that's going to tell you to move everything into the gray area so that it all fits because that's what the printer is going to use to chop off the edges of the cards it's called a bleed and then I can come up here to download it again and we'll name this Jimmy Jimmy Buffett card and then I go to a site called vistaprint.com it's one of my favorite sites to use to get my own business cards printed and I can come up here to business cards and come over here and select the business cards and I do I want standard or I can get premium do I want matte stock do I want um, standard corners or rounded corners I guess standard I can get 500 printed for about 20 bucks I can get 250 printed for 16 bucks and when I start designing I can literally upload my card and upload my uh, design that I just created it's here it is the Jimmy Buffett card open it and you'll notice that here is that bleed area I told you about, right? This is what Vistaprint calls a safe zone. Okay, there it is, it popped in, and there's my safe zone, and then I can get it printed at the print shop and have it sent back to me in about three days for about 16 bucks. And they give you a little preview of it, and another preview, a little 3D preview. <laughs> That's pretty cool. And then they also give you some promotional items to, to add to your cart like postcards with your graphic. You can make um, pens with your image on it. T-shirts are okay. There's other uh, uh, avenues for T-shirts. Um, you can make mouse pads and coffee mugs with your design. It's, it's a very cool thing, and the graphics creator works hand-in-hand -hand with this service. Okay, the second free graphic design software tool that you could get into for free is a tool called Pixlr. Now, I use Photoshop almost daily, but some people can't afford Photoshop. They don't know how to use it. So you can come online to uh, this site called Pixlr, and it's almost identical to Photoshop, but it's free. So for example, I can come to this uh, advanced, and I can open up an image on my desktop. If I have a Photoshop file that I or somebody made for me, I come up here to the open image and on my desktop I can find an image um, like this guy for example. Okay, here's a bird I sometimes use. Let's say I needed to change his beak color um, really quick so I can come up here to this lasso tool and I can draw really carefully around his beak. And I can come over here to adjustment and I want to uh, adjust the hue so I click on it and now I can take it and I can change the color of the beak to blue make it more saturated make it a little darker hit apply it's as easy as that or I can come over here to this um, magic wand kind of thing and I can select it and I can click on the blue parts of his hand and if I hold the shift key down while I'm clicking, I can cl keep selecting his entire hand, or at least all the light blue parts, maybe, I don't know. Then again, come up here to adjustment, hue and saturation, and let's just say I wanna color this green, you know, whatever, red. I need to make him red. Apply. Now, I can come over here to the, to the other areas, hit the shift key and change these colors To a different red and that was purple so it's not gonna work or I can hit this uh, if I hit colorize colorize and now all at once I can make red and make it lighter 
or saturate, you know, whatever, you get the idea. And there, I've just changed his blue hand to uh, red. And there's a whole bunch of other tools that I won't get into uh, explaining, but you can add text by clicking on this little icon here. You can select uh, a color here for the background, like let's do this color here for now, hit OK. Come over here to the bucket and we'll just fill the background. There he goes, solid background. And let's say I don't want this uh, ground background, so I can come over here to the Erase tool and erase it. Now you notice it's erasing the background as well. So after I'm done erasing the background, I can come back up here to this Fill Bucket tool again and click. And what's also cool is let's say I messed this whole thing up. It looks, it looks awful. So just like in the uh, graphics creator where you have the undo button, this is sort of an undo back in time. If I click on fill and I keep clicking all these all the way back to when I didn't mess up there. Now that's back. And let's say I didn't want that background. I first wanted to erase the ground. So now I, I'm about here. Now I can come back to the eraser tool, click on it and erase the um, ground and then back over to the, um, the fill bucket. Now I fill the background and boom, it's a little bit easier. And I can fill, I can change that if I want to and all kinds of little editing things that I could use. And then in the end, save this as a PNG graphic and use it anywhere you want. So that's Pexler. And they also have a Pexler Market, by the way, where I think you can buy other people's graphics. I mean, if you wanted this to edit, um, they have all kinds of things that you can that you can purchase or I think some of them are even downloadable for free they have fonts and photos stock photos uh, audio clips that's a new one I haven't seen that before huh interesting cool anyway that's Pexler and you can uh, get it for free and finally the last graphic design software tool that you can try for free is called Powtoon and I used it to create about three or four of our explainer videos and explainer videos are, are pretty expensive. They can, can, can run you a thousand bucks. Let me get into my account and I'll show you what it looks like in the inside. So when we log in, these are all the explainer videos I've done over time uh, since using Powtoon. For example, we just finished this one, you know, a couple months ago. Running a small business is tough work. Sometimes it feels as if it's you against the world. You not only have to know how to sell your stuff, you have to know how to get people to look at your product or service in the first place. Okay, I will show this to you on another video. Probably in a few days I'll make it. But it was super easy to, to create. It took a while, but it was super easy. So let me show you something. I'm going to come and edit this. And you'll see that Powtoon is made up of scenes. Here's the first scene. Then here's the other scene that you might have seen. <laughs> uh, then it, And I keep adding different, different scenes to it. And these guys are all modifiable. And I can take him and swap him out with another character if I wanted to. There he is. So what happens when you create a Powtoon, let me show you really quick. Now they have pre-made templates like the graphics creator does. But if we wanted to start a blank Powtoon, let me just show you in about a minute how easy it is to create something. Okay, so I like um, whiteboard style. I, I think whiteboard style is cool. Okay, and it gives you these um, scenes on the right and over here, you have your first slide. So I can find situations like uh, this guy, okay? Simply drag him over, and he's there. And then you have a little timeline here where you can set it all the way to the, to the back and play it. Cool. Now, if I didn't want him to slide in, do you see this little arrow here? It says he's sliding in when the marker, when this marker, comes to this time, he slides in. But if I didn't want him to slide in, I can click on this, and let's say he can come up from the bottom, come down from the top, or he's going to pop in. Let's make say pop in. So if I select that, you'll notice the icon changes to a little pop in, and now when I play the video, he pops in. Now, let's say I want to go to the next slide, so I'm going to click on this little plus bar here, and the next slide, it's blank, and this time I'm going to come to the next scene, and these guys now. So I can change the text, 
right? Now this guy I don't want, so I'm going to swap him out with, he's scared. Instead of typing, he's scared. <laughs> so there you go. It's that easy to kind of change things. And then you can add music and add a voiceover. And again, in a few days, come back to my YouTube channel and you'll see how I created our full explainer video. But Powtoon is very cool and I've used it for a whole bunch of stuff and you can find a whole bunch of templates that they, they can get you started with. <laughs> it's pretty cool. I like Powtoons. It's awesome. Okay, well, that's it. Thanks for watching and I hope you got a lot out of this uh, graphic design software that you can try out for free. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss another one. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.